Hi, uh, this, uh, my name is Manik Arora and uh, I work for a company called Verviba Telecom. Uh, we started in 2010. Uh, we design, uh, build and operate wireless network. This is the first time we are attending CES. And the reason is some of our customers have moved to consumer space, mainly like Ericsson's, Nokia's, and Alcatel Lucent. So we decided to move into this, uh, this domain and, and understand what, what is our customer doing over here. Huh? Uh, we are a network service provider, and we never thought that uh, we're going to be connected to consumer. But today's world, when, when I look at digital technology, I think consumers are very critical for a network provider. Companies like at and and T-Mobile and Verizon, they're looking at a consumer, how they are behaving, what are they doing, and they are upgrading their network uh, depending on those scenarios. Huh? Uh, why we are here is uh, we are going digital this year. We decided to uh, move into uh, uh, application and cloud-based services. So today we decided to understand how consumers are uh, looking at applications and, and uh, cloud-based uh, solutions. So we want to use uh, our network services depending on those, uh, those areas. Huh? So we, we are, um, we, uh, when in, in a layman language, we design, build, and operate wireless networks. So when AT&T's and uh, AT&T's world and T-Mobile, when they decide to move to a newer technology, for example, they move from UMTS to LTE, they hire companies like us to upgrade their wireless network. So our engineers help them to uh, deploy those wireless networks. And uh, we work with OEMs mostly, uh, mainly uh, Alcatel Lucent, uh, Ericsson, and Nokia Siemens. Uh, we have just recently, um, uh, looked at uh, the space where we are, that big data has become a very uh, uh, significant uh, role in this, this environment, and every operator is moving into that direction. So uh, the geolocation of, um, of uh, consumers are very important for, uh, for most, of the, uh, most of the operators. So what we decided is to utilize that uh, data which we are collecting for deployment and utilize that data to understand how consumers are behaving in the network. Huh? And that data is uh, very important and uh, for any operator, so we decided to utilize that data and develop application and cloud-based solutions based on that data. Huh? For example, um, uh, I think AT&T, if you know, they are deploying a lot of small cell this year, and uh, which is very indoor-based solution, indoor environment solution. We are developing a, an application in order to help, in order to help uh, uh, small cell environment uh, more time to the market, the speed to the market. So small cell has become a very critical for uh, indoor environment. So we are developing application which will help our customer to deploy that technology faster. Uh, in order to do that, we are collecting data right uh, at the location and putting it in a cloud-based solution uh, with an application we are developing, which will help them to get to the market much faster. Um, the, the SLAs are very significant. Uh, it plays a very significant role in our uh, deployment. So we have a very a service level agreement. So we need to have ensure that we have certain throughput. We, we ensure that there's a certain quality of the network, certain capacity of the network. So we ensure that uh, our engineers understand those SLAs. And when they deploy those technologies, we maintain those SLAs when we, when we deliver those networks back to the customer. Um, we, we believe that uh, most of our customers are looking at consumer more uh, closely than before. Earlier it was a network-based uh, solutions, but now it's more consumer-based solution. So what consumer wants, and that's the critical aspect of any network deployment. So uh, for example, a consumer, if he's looking for a more throughput, a more indoor-based solution, or a consumer is looking at more video content or a, or a data content, they, the networks are now deployed based on those uh, requirements. And I think that's why some of our customers, and, and it's very strange, I mean, when I, when I look at Samsung and Ericsson and, and, and Cisco, who are very network-based uh, 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 customer, and they are here, and they are looking at uh, uh, how consumers are behaving, and they are taking that data and ensuring that their network is uh, is maintaining that kind of throughput, maintaining that kind of uh, solution. That's that's critical. So, I personally believe that uh, why we are why we are here today is to understand what is consumer is looking for. One thing I personally look at uh, today is the connected devices. So today I see a lot of people are utilizing a lot of sensor-based solutions or Bluetooth-based, the different technologies to connect all the devices. And that's very critical for, um, for, uh, for a consumer. And I think that's one thing I take it 
from this show that, uh, c that the devices has to be connected across the ecosystem and uh, that's very critical for us to develop a network or deploy a network based on that uh, solution. Um, I think um, eventually all network based uh, companies or OEMs are going to become a software company and that's wh what I believe is the future. Uh, more, more and more con uh, companies are com becoming software based uh, companies even though they are not accepting it they, are, they still believe they own the technology but everything is becoming cloud based and application based solution and that's the, uh, uh, that's the roadmap I see for all the network providers today.